I'm Dusty from PartnersInCrimeGFX.com, and in this video, I'll show you how to use my new Blender Asset add-on Toontitle to make amazing intros in free software. This add-on has over 200 animated assets, including flash elements hand-drawn in Blender 2.8 squeeze pencil, pixel elements, animated text, transitions, pre-rendered elements, outro assets, and much more. You can get this add-on by clicking the link in the description or the info icon to the top right of the screen. This add-on is updated monthly with new elements, and once you purchase it, you will automatically have lifetime updates. So now I'll show you how to use this add-on. Once you've purchased Toontitle, the first thing you'll need to do is open up the Toontitle startup glow file. And we're just going to open up the blend file. And now we're going to select File, and then we're going to select User Preferences, and you're going to press Install Add-on from File and then you'll select wherever you have it stored on your computer. So in this case, we're going to go to the folder where we have it stored on our computer and install Toontitle. So now Toontitle's been installed. So the next thing you'll want to do is select this check and then select Save User Settings. And then we'll just exit this and now we'll start making our intro. So the first thing we're going to do is select a background element. So we'll select the circle background. We're just going to press the plus icon there, and now we're going to select these circles by right clicking, and then we're going to press S and size them up. Now we're going to right click on the background to select, and we're going to go into the material settings and change the color of the background. So we're just going to make it blue, and we're going to go into render view and see how that looks. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is select these circles by right clicking and go into the texture setting and go into the texture settings now we'll just put the start at let's try negative 188 that way we can see the circles falling all right so the next thing we'll do is add our cartoon text so we're just going to select style b32 and we're going to press plus to add that text style. And we're going to go into the group settings. And we're going to press the plus on these and select the text objects. So now we're going to enter our own custom text. And we're just going to type Jackson. And we're going to press apply text. Now we're going to do that for the rest of the text objects. and apply the text. So now we're going to put in the opening transition. We're just going to drag the timeline here and you'll see the text disappear and that's because the text is already animated. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in our opening transition. So we're just going to select circle open one and then press the plus on that. Now again we're going to press S and size it up. I'm going to press GZ and move it forward a little bit. And you're going to right click on that, make sure it's selected. And then you're going to change the color to green, since it's going to be a green screen intro. And we're going to go ahead and change the start frame of this video element. We'll put the start at 53. Because we want it to go as the text is coming in. We should actually right click on the circle open effect and move it behind the text and then press S and size that up. And then left click to confirm. So now we're going to go ahead and add in another background element. Let's select the repeating squares and then press plus and then we're going to press GZ on that to move it back and then we're going to press S and size that up. Now we're going to press the plus on the repeating squares, make sure we have them selected. And we're going to change the start frame to negative 76. Just so that we can see those squares animating. Just so that we can see those squares animating. And now what we're going to do is add in a few more elements. So we're going to add in our circle sweep. We're just going to add circle sweep 5 and press the plus on that. 
and as you can see we have our circle sweep. Now we're just going to add another element and we're just going to select the line swirl. Make sure we have it selected. And let's see how that looks. We're going to go ahead and zoom out on this timeline. And we're going to go to frame 42. And we're just going to hover over the dope sheet and press G and drag these to the frame that we want them at. And then left click to confirm. And now we're just going to see how that animates. So we're just going to press G and move those forward just a little bit. And now what we're going to do is add our line spark. So we're going to select line spark 3 and we're going to press the plus. And we're going to fast forward on the timeline to see where that shows up. Alright. So now we're just going to put in the closing transition. And we're just going to select circle close and press the plus on that. Now we're going to press S and size that up. And we want this to be in front of everything, so we press GZ and move it forward. And then left click to confirm. And then now we're just going to see how that looks. As you can see, we've got our closing transition, so we're just going to right click on that. And go into the material section. And change it to a green screen. And now we're just going to change the start frame. And we'll just make the start at 220. And let's see how that goes out. So now we're just going to choose a song for our intro. And you're going to go to wherever you have the song you want stored on your computer. And we're just going to choose Seven Lions, Tritunnel, and Kill the Noise, Feet, Halion, Horizon. And we're just going to drag it in here. So now we're going to scroll out on our timeline and see where that is. So what we're going to want to do is change the start frame. And we're going to make the start frame negative 6731. And then confirm that. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is scroll down here. And as you can see, this is where our glows are. So for every bounce there is in a song, there will be a glow. If you want to change where the glows are or delete the glows, you can simply right click and press X to delete. Or if you want to move the glows, you can simply press G after you right clicked to select. So now if you want to render this out to a video, all the settings are already there for you. Simply select this camera icon, scroll down, and I'm just going to name this tune title intro one and then you select a folder you want to save it to on your computer we're just going to select our documents and press accept so then when you press render and then render animation your intro will render to wherever you set the output but before you do that we're going to show you a few more things you can do with this intro so we're going to go into the text settings and select a text object Let's select one of the front ones and we're going to change the color of the text so we're going to change it to purple. And if you want to change the color of any of the elements, we're just going to select the circle sweep element. And we're going to press plus on the radio element. And we're going to press plus on the radial element. And we're going to select this and change the color of it. And we're just going to change the color to... Yeah. Let's try green. And we're going to right click the background and change the color of the background. And as you can see, it's nice and purple. So now, if you want to add a bounce to it, you're going to want to download the S Shake add on from the description. And then we're going to select the frames where we want our shake to happen. So we want our shakes to happen on the same frames where we have our glow. So we're just going to drag on the timeline to where our glows are. And let's go to frame 56. And we're going to press M. And we're going to go to frame 92. And we're 
going to press M to put another marker there. And then we're going to go to frame 132. We're going to press M and put a marker there as well. And then we're going to go to, let's go to frame 345 and just put one at the end and press M. So now we're just going to go to frame 182 and press M to put a marker there as well. And we're just going to fast forward to the end on the timeline and then we're going to make sure our shake settings are as follows. And then press add shake. And then your shake and bounce will go along to the music. So remember, once you're done, you're going to want to make sure that your output is selected as the folder you want it saved to on your computer. And then press render and then render animation. You'll also want to save this file under a different name. So you're going to select save as. And then you can name it anything you'd like. We're just going to name it Tune Title Startup Blend File 2. And then press save as Blender File.